Today I have another review for Dash 10 Hot Sauce. Now Dave Adams, the owner, said that when flavor testing the sauce, his dad said you'd have to be insane to eat that sauce. Well, I guess that's why they're calling this one Insanity. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another review for an excellent lineup of nine different hot sauces. That's right, I'm working my way all the way through nine of these. This is Dash 10's hot sauce, and this one they're calling Insanity. Now, I just love these labels. Excellent label work and design. And I love these eight ounce little stout bottles. You get a little bit more for your money, right? Now make sure you check out my other reviews that I've done for Dave Adams and his company Dash 10, which is located in Franklin, Tennessee. Um, like I said, he's got nine different uh, flavor profiles and he's got, got them ranging all the way from very, very mild, all the way up to blistering. I gave it almost a 9 out of 10 for the uh, Red Falcon made with Carolina Reaper peppers. Uh, it was blistering hot but delicious. We're going to go back into the hot category today, um, but not too hot. This one, Insanity, uses habanero peppers, and this one they've got rated just a little bit beyond the mid-range. So we've got the low altitude. Yeah, low altitude, we've got the mid-range, and then we've got danger close. So this one's just a couple of notches above the mid-range for heat level. It says, a nice jump from our mild medium flavors made with habanero peppers. This will get your mouth watering. And like I said in my intro, when flavor testing, my dad said you would have to be insane to eat this sauce. All right, now what I love about uh, Dash 10 and what I've reviewed so far is that you can really taste and smell uh, the chili peppers that are in here. These are vinegar-based hot sauces. A lot of them use cayenne peppers. They've got a blend of seasonings and uh, some other ingredients that are just really unique and make these some hot sauces that, that have a delicious flavor profile with some character. And uh, here's the ingredients on this one, guys. Um, we start off with habanero peppers, distilled vinegar, water, salt, minced garlic and additional spices now i think they're using like black pepper celery salt maybe some oregano some other different seasonings in here that i think it just makes it really really flavorful now this one's uh nice and red as you can see there it looks like some black pepper this one has got a nice consistency these are uh not super super thick sauces but they're not vinegary thin either all right, well, let's go ahead and check out the aroma on this one. Now, once again, this just features fresh habanero peppers, and I believe uh, no other peppers are in here. Woo! Now, I get that same signature aroma, that scent, signature Dash 10 scent of a uh, uh, vinegar-based pepper sauce that's really spiced up with those spices like black pepper and celery salt and so forth. Doesn't smell vinegary. But once again, you can smell the habanero peppers in here, just like their other sauces where you could smell the cayenne peppers or in their green sauce, um, you can really smell the aroma of green jalapenos. But this one, you can smell the heat, kind of that fiery, fruity, citrus, distinct aroma that habaneros have. Ooh. You know, habanero peppers can be pretty darn hot. Um, and this one, I think, is going to be pretty hot. All right, let's do a little bit here. Insanity. All right, here we go. Mm. Wow. Woo! Definitely has a, a little bit of habanero heat. You know that, to me, habaneros have that bee sting or that pins and needles type of uh, heat. Um that can hit pretty quickly. Wow, this one's got an awesome flavor to it. You can taste the habaneros. You get that same signature um, flavor that Dash 10 provides with that um, spice blend that they use and the garlic and the vinegar and then just full of habanero peppers. Um, this is pretty hot for a habanero pepper sauce. I would probably give this one a solid five out of 10 right there in the middle for me. 
starting to burn all over with that habanero type of burn not the super uh, hot oven burn type of heat that you get from um, ghost peppers and above to me but that really fiery stingy habanero level of heat that you know it's not going to last forever but uh, really super delicious and here's what i did with this one guys i put this on some pizza and it was amazing so dash tin sauces are great for making wings i think a lot of them are fantastic on just about anything and this one was especially good on pizza yeah five out of ten for this one guys but check it out at dash tin sauce.com that link will be down in the description nine different flavor profiles that come in these eight ounce bottles and they also have the smaller ones which i believe are the 1.7 ounce uh, little bottles like that as well travel size bottles in each of the flavors as well so check it out dash 10 sauce.com dave thank you so much for sending it i greatly appreciate it guys thank you so much for watching stay tuned for a lot more and until the next time you know what to do enjoy the burn we'll see you guys later